guess first to start off with this week, I was just curious, you know, how quickly has it taken you guys to kind of get over last weekend and be on the run this weekend? Well, I, like it, it, it's a, it's, it was a longer week than normal for us yeah. down there. Obviously, we got, to, I'm sure you heard, you know, we got in at midnight on the, on the Thursday night. We got stuck on I-81, and then on the way back, the mm-hmm. weather was. Uh, but it's just it's a recovery week anyways from that perspective so yeah. you deal with it accordingly um, you know with uh, with a 7 a.m. arrival on Sunday morning here uh, you know we took Monday off uh, eased into the week on Tuesday here and we get we get after it here today so we'll, uh, we'll look at that from that perspective just recovery and getting get fresh here for the weekend and uh, um, you know that's kind of how you handle that long trip it you, you prefer to have that trip at the start of the year Right. When you're a little bit fresher, but it is what it is. So we overcame. I didn't think we handled, uh, didn't handle it great. Uh, so you know, we just we reflected on that, talked about it, and moved on. Today's the day to move on. And obviously, the first game this week, you have a chance to catch a team that's ahead of you in the standings too. I mean, how, how big is it to be able to kind of refocus and kind of get back in the hunt again after you know? I mean, maybe find a few spots in the standings this week without a chance to play two teams that are ahead of you. Yeah, good weekend, bad weekend. I mean, it's the way it is right now, right? You know, we're looking at it an opportunity here with, uh, you know, we control the fact we're playing teams right right in the, in the cluster with us is real critical to us. So, yeah. obviously, uh, two good teams coming in. Uh, two good teams have had, uh, you know, coming off of uh, uh, decent weekends last weekend, but playing well lately. So, you know, it's uh, Dartmouth's been a good team as of yeah. uh, as of late. So, it's a, it's a team that uh, we are obviously – Realize they have a lot of skill, they have some veteran, a lot of veteran forwards that can make plays. Uh, so a very dangerous team. And with Harvard, I've heard they've had some you know, off and on injury troubles and stuff. Uh, is it maybe beneficial to get to play them in the second game? Because they'll have, uh, obviously get a tough test from St. Lawrence Friday, and maybe they'll be a little less maybe energetic than they might have been. Yeah, you're not, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, you're not sure because a lot of times, yeah. sometimes the first game's hardest too with the travel, right? Oh, yeah. So you're not sure. you got to get that out of your system with the travel. So yeah. it is, you know, I think at this time of the year, you're getting everybody's good. Uh, uh, you're going to get a good push from everybody in every game. Mm. So, um, you know, we look back at our games on the weekend. Um, you know, us, it was just sustaining our energy over the course of 60 minutes was uh, was our problem last weekend. I thought we were extremely good both nights uh, early in games, um, you know, and generated enough chances to uh, to take leads. But, um, you know, it just uh, it was one of those weekends where I thought that uh, we couldn't sustain the 60 minutes. And, uh, you know, it's just, we reflected on that and moved on. And it's, it's an important weekend here having these teams at home. Um, you know, a real critical weekend for us. As far as Terrence goes, as you were quick about him, obviously he had his first goal of the year last week, but you know he kind of moved in the lineup the night Kevin was suspended for a game. And what's he done that's kind of kept him there? Uh, like what, did, what impressed you about what he did? Well, I think he was there? ready, right? I think he's a young guy that uh, we've got some depth on the blue line. Um, and uh, it's been, uh, he's faced adversity all year with fighting to get in the lineup. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's, it's things that we've, uh, you know, you give people critical information on, on what they have to do to get better. Yeah. And he's been dead set on, on proving us that he can do the things we've asked him to do. Yeah. And uh, when he got his opportunity to play, uh, he played mm-hmm. and he played well. And, uh, you know, he's got some really good attributes. His stick is really good. His hockey sense is really good. Uh, and he's improved in a couple of key areas that we've asked him to. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, he's played well the last couple of games that, uh, you know, he, he's gotten in there. And it's not someone, and we tell our guys that mm-hmm. uh, if you afford someone else an opportunity to get in the lineup, you just, it's not a quick fix. Yeah. If they play well, then they're they're gonna they're they're gonna hold on their spot and he, and he's done a good job of that and then keep the guys at bay right now he was he was very effective for us on the weekend again. On the other side, is it tough with freshmen sometimes that they don't play a lot because you worry that they might lose confidence or think they're not good enough for this level if they kind of spend the whole year kind of you know in a suit and tie? Is that ever well, they do. I mean, a lot of times they get to this level; it's the first time they've ever been sat right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's the first adversity they face, so you, you get that. But uh, you know, it's it's just hey, that's. That's where we're at. You know, we're at a level like competition is the best players play. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, what, what he's done a good job of, uh, he's faced it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's sharp reality of what we've asked him to do to get better. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's done that on a daily basis. He's done extra video. Uh, he's come in and do little things, and it's paying dividends for him. Mm-hmm.